In this webcast and the following webcast, we'd like to expand our knowledge of the carbonyl functionality by looking at the acyl substitution followed by addition reaction sequence that's available to carbonyls. Shown here is the general reaction sequence of acyl substitution followed by addition. When starting with a carboxylic acid derivative such as an ester or an amide that contains a heteroatom that can act as a leaving group, a nucleophile can displace this leaving group in the acyl substitution mechanism. This creates a new carbonyl intermediate that can then undergo nucleophilic addition upon addition of a second equivalent of nucleophile and protonation to create a new alcohol species that is bonded to two equivalents of our nucleophile. Now let's take a look at some examples of acyl substitution followed by addition. When this ester is treated with two equivalents of methyl magnesium bromide, this phenoxide leaving group can be displaced by two methyl groups to create this tertiary alcohol shown here. Analogously, this ester can be reduced in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride, a source of nucleophilic hydride anions, to create this primary alcohol shown here. Also, amides can be reduced by lithium aluminum hydride in the same substitution followed by addition mechanism. However, we'll learn in the following webcast why the carbonyl oxygen acts as the leaving group and not the nitrogen. In the next webcast, we'll take a closer look at the mechanism of acyl substitution followed by addition.